Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Never Winter Nights. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today here in the third level of the creators, or maze of the creators. It's, it's a place that the creators have, and there's ever more terrible creatures awaiting for us. And uh, we're going down, deeper down, and uh, trying to figure out if uh, we can survive. Right now what we need... Ooh, a silence over there. Right now what we need is... Um, is actually to... Oh, did I put it over there? Yes, I did. Uh, is to find a key. We need a key. We haven't found it yet. We haven't found it yet. Uh, but we're gonna need a key for the gate. That is that gate over there. And then I imagine... Oh, actually, there's no... That's the end. Oh, we're at the end. I didn't notice that. And uh, in the, on the way there, we have gray renders. Whatever that means. Uh, we have these minor gorns. Whatever that means. And we have gargoyles as well. That I... It's just a name. So... And these guys are useless as per usual. Terrible, terrible, terrible AI for the companions. Just unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, but we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Adapa is doing her job at least. I'm taking a lot of damage as, uh, as well. Lovely. I'm gonna get out of there if you don't mind. Oh, I killed him. So I basically, that was, that was, that's good. Uh, okay, so we're also, oh, there's a dead guy over here. Thief's journal. We just got the key. Stole some loot, day one. Drank ale, wench not friendly. Stole some more loot. Drank more whale, wench more friendly. Stole more? This guy is very, I don't, hungry, head hurts, unreadable due to blood splotches. Okay, I'm not even going to take that, because this is uh, the dying words of an idiot who doesn't know what to write. That's not my my notion of good uh, of, of good, of good time reading. So, screw you, mister. That. Thank you for, for taking that. I'm trying to, yeah, rest. She didn't save, of course. There we go. We're back to normal, and uh, we're going to go back. And continue looting around. We have the key, though, but uh, I want to see what is on those things. I imagine something even worse than a gray render. Okay. We have sarcophagus that have been opened. We have a chest that has not <laughs> been opened. Uh, a spike trap that is a little bit heavy, but that's okay because I can carry it. And I think I have another one somewhere around here that I shouldn't have. Uh, right? Yes, that one over there. So I'm keeping the traps down here. Uh, for a rainy day, basically. Those things are powerful, I, as far as I'm aware. Uh, they're also pretty rare. And we have a Minigon over here. Did stun me, unfortunately. But I should be fine. That is kind of, that is a problem. Oh, that is well, another problem. Please attack Adapa! Attack Adapa! Adapa instead! Look how ugly she is! Don't! Yeah, she's saved. She's saved against the stun or whatever. Save versus mind? Mind spells, yeah. Okay, and he's given up. Yeah. Of course, we're gonna need to wait for me to get out of my stun. I'm out. There we go. Just in time to see it die. Although, even oh, we got another one. Step on a trap. Step. Yes. In the name of Sandy and Moonbow. She got blinded. She got blinded. Good. Okay. Attacks of opportunity doesn't matter. Just kill that one. Focus fire. That's all. That's what it's all about. All the time. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of damage. What is she doing? I have no idea what she did. I think she hit for very low damage. That's what that was. I don't know what that was, but yeah. So we're good. We have a little bit of treasure over here from a demon. Uh, not a demon. Uh, from a, a Minogon. That's the one. I, I was thinking of a demon demon Gorgon. But that's a different thing. <laughs> a different guy, I think. Actually, a, a different pers person, basically. It's a, well, it's a demon, but still. It's a person. And over here, we have another Minogon. Oh, a battle horror. Oh, lovely. Those guys. Yeah, we fought so, some of those before. Four of them, actually. And we're supposed to kill them all together. Yeah, right? Okay, these guys are easier than the uh, Helmed Terrors, I believe. At least it seems like that's the case. They make a bracket, oh my god. And uh, Adapa might die. That's fine. Down she goes. Critical miss on me. Cleave miss over there on her. Or by her. Took a little bit of damage. No, it's fine. Good. Come on. Victory will be ours! Down it goes. Good. Okay, what do we have in here? Treasure? Traps. That's what we have. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that too much. Can you go away, soundtrack? Thank you. We got another trap over here. I did not save against that. But we did get a plus one heal kit. Which means nothing. I don't need it. Put it over there. There we go. Well, actually, I use, that's the one I use it. So uh, That's the one I use, so... Uh, let's see if I can survive over here. Well, I can. I'm just slowed. That's fine. 
Uh, we have throwing axes. Sure, I'll take those to sell. And this one, hopefully... <gasps> mm, that was a failure, though. I think I, I can survive that without uh, that much issue. I probably sh could... There we go. Uh, I probably could consider going for the trap skill. Because doing this is not going to be a, a long-term... It's not going to be long-term... Uh, long-term strategy. That's going to be a terrible idea. Uh, what, do we what else do we have here? Are you following me or what? Just guard me right now. Uh, I probably should rest. Yeah, there's nobody else on the map, by the way. Unless there's something over there, which I doubt. And... Ooh, history scroll. A couple of history scrolls. I'll take that. What do we have? Uh, the Elem text on this ancient scroll swims before your eyes before forming into a language you can understand. The creator race forced a group of slaves to protect them through the Ice Age. The Ice Age. Okay. And this one... Uh, this one I don't need. This one. The alien text on the ancient scroll uh, before you swims... Okay. Faerun was once ruled by a cruel and ancient race known as the Creators, who were left in stasis during the Great Ice Age. Oh. But they, the slaves helped them, survive, helped them survive, right? They're still in stasis, but they're alive. That's how it goes, right? That's what it's supposed to mean. Hmm. Anyway, let me make my way over there. Well, there was a Minogon over here somehow. I'm not really sure where he was. Uh, maybe they patrol. And maybe that's all that was. Yeah, he's right here by the uh, by the exit. I came around through there because I wanted to see if there was anything. There was nothing. Except for this guy that was supposedly here before? Nah, I doubt it. Okay, I'll let him be there. And, uh, yeah, of course, here is where the uh, seal, the third seal uh, protector or guardian decided to kill himself, effectively, for no reason. Actually, he decided to kill me, but, okay. Let's see what we have. Haha. -ha. I didn't save. I I I'm gonna step back. They, ca they cast invisibility. Right? Right? I, sh I, I didn't save, but I should have. Oh, boy. Well, tension. Maybe that, that's just supposed to be, like, a, a scary thing or something. Vasa intruders. Vasa. Sure. They know I'm here. Hi! Okay. Yeah. That sneak attack, come on. Okay, a dire bo Are you guys kidding me? Attack the freaking... In the name of Satan yeah. Moonbow! That's not gonna go well. Yeah. That is not gonna go well. At all. <laughs> wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Um... Hmm. So, yeah, I'm back down here. Over there. Okay, let's try and figure out if I can drink some potion or something that is gonna protect me against that. Potion of Endurance of Clarity, Bark Skin, what does that do? Um, he doesn't tell what he does. Uh, Bull Strength, that's kind of okay. Uh, Cat's Grace, Fox Cunning, Potion of Lore, Invisibility, Speed, Owl's Wisdom, I think that's for saves versus spells and all this sort of stuff. That might actually help me. An eagle, eagle splendor. F whatever that is. But it shall make anyone more comely. Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, let's use Owl's Wisdom. Okay. So we're going to try and take those guys out. Actually, I'm going to use uh, proper arrows right now. Uh, I could use the arrow of the vampire. Uh... No one knows where... Okay, I could try that, but it's... To be honest, it's not... These things do extra damage, right? Yeah, that's the stuff I'm gonna use. Uh, and uh, we'll see how things go. Probably terrible. Okay, let's see if I can shoot from here. Okay. This is going better than I thought. It's going much... Oh, that guy's back. Okay. Oh, yeah, you come. You come over here. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, this is going really well. Much, much better. Okay, they have the stupid 
dire boars, whatever. Yeah, you go out of Okay. Do you have the no? Yeah, you have another Adap already. Okay, Adap is down. That's a shot. Let's get Adap back. Lovely. Okay, get out of get out, get out, get out. And let's see if I can shoot them from down here. Especially that guy that's almost dead. Should be able to. Yep. Yeah. Lino might die. She didn't die yet, but that guy didn't die either. And she's down now. She's not how is she not down yet? She's down now. Okay, Adapa might be able to handle these guys. These guys are pretty tough. Everybody, not just okay, I'm out, I'm out. Uh I'm gonna take a potion. Go away, ma ma there we go. Now let's see if I can do something here. I don't have another Adapa. So I'm really gonna need to do something here. Critical hit right there, that was very good. Okay, I don't know if I activated fast mode or not. I, I did now. Whoa, we did it! We did it, Adapa! That was... Surprisingly... Good. <laughs> I mean, I am using as the best things... Am I? No, I'm not. I, that was surprisingly good. I was not. I wasn't even using the proper spells that are the proper arrows that I thought I was. So fantastic. Of course, you're gonna open and close because I double clicked, or I clicked twice actually. I didn't double click. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go back. But it doesn't really matter when I go back because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back on foot. Um, so we're gonna wait a little bit, and there might be another. There's another one. Yeah, we're gonna need to go there. To go back home right now. Come here, Lino. I can s Yeah, yeah. Uh and then we are gonna sell a few more things. Because why not? Sell all of that, all of that over there. What is that glitter? No, don't care for that. Or these. Or that. Uh am I keeping anything interesting around here? We got Urth's ring, we got some Aventurine that I think I might need. Uh over here we got all the, the rest of the stuff. Uh great sword, sickle. Don't need any of that. I should probably put it inside the other little bag that I have, but it's all good. Uh, okay, how I wish I could get some arrows from there, but I cannot. That's all good. Adapa, can you please stay out of the way? She can't. She is... You're adorable, Adapa. You know. You know that? You know that? Yeah. Okay. So let's take... No, that's the way out. <laughs> I, yeah. This is the way I want to go to. And we're not in combat. The soundtrack makes it seem like we are. Hello. Sneak attack right there. Essa Sithinder can stitlins. Vassal, vassal, vassal. I suppose vassal means like a uh, murder or defend or damn it. <laughs> Could be. Oh. Fringa Pekka, Fringa Pekka. Susenda Mesa. Can you stop that? Oh no. Stop, stop everything. Just let the combat go away. There it is. Sisin Weras Kulag Sisni. I don't understand what you're saying. Pozna. Ek Kanesa Talak. There. That brute spell should enable us to converse. Can you understand me, mammal? Uh, are you not a mammal? You seem to have breasts. Sort of. No! Oh, it's the, the Saurian creatures! I should have known. I should have known. Uh, well... That doesn't sound like the proper tone of voice for one who has was beaten, but I understand what you say. This is very hard to understand. Things have obviously changed greatly. Why are you in here? How does a soft, weak mammal like yourself dare to enter this room? Oh yeah, I'm soft. No, wait a minute, I'm hard. Oh, it's, uh, okay. <clears throat> Depends on where you want to... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, well... You talk as if you just won the battle. Why aren't you afraid of me? I... I am unused to being in a subordinate position. It is hard for me to get used to... Uh, to get used to. How is it that a slave race could become this powerful? Uh... Well... Uh, we're not... We're nobody's slaves. We might no longer be in power, or so you say, but then surely the Draconic race must rule the surface as they used to, the, to rule the skies. Dragons. Does your race fear the power of the dragons? <clears throat> hmm. 
You mammals have become more intelligent than we had suspected. Interesting. Yeah, I'm very intelligent for knowing what draconic means. Um, you, I can, I can tell you that I am getting rather tired of being called a mammal. Call me Giladel. Hmm, my sense of identity. You are much like the scent. Guns. It didn't take long for their resistance to be broken. It should be amusing to see what becomes of your civilized manners when our race dominates yours again. Uh, yeah? What, what makes you think your race will dominate ours? You haven't even the slightest idea what, you're, what you face. You will learn in time. Is your mind completely worn out from the effort of communicating, or do you have other questions? Uh... I have other questions. Uh, all right, Mammal. I suppose I should humor your request since I surrender. Since I since I did surrender. What questions would you ask of me? What are you? I am a member of a race that is highly superior to to yours. We are masters of flesh, mind, and spirit. Yeah, I would like you to explain what superior means, because I know what draconic means. Superior, not so much. Are you kind of taller? That's what it is. Yeah, that's the, yeah. You know, us half elves and all that. Yeah. Uh. That doesn't answer my, my question, though. Well, it would, if your race had true intelligence, but I will speak to that one such as you can... Uh, I'll speak so that one such as you can understand. We are the master race, created perfect in form and mind, and meant to rule the lesser races. We possess incredible magics, the likes of which your puny mages can only dream of. Our warriors are fearless and nearly unstoppable. And yet you got killed by a bear. Sure. That's all fine. Uh... Uh, then how, yeah, I have not been awake long, he says. Perhaps I have simply not recovered my full strength. Be assured, when my queen decides that it is time, we shall come forth and show you what real power is. Uh, he's not really making any efforts of being friendly with me, is he? I was kind of, I would be interested in like, okay, let's be friendly here. Let's just say we can work off each other or something. You want your queen to come, to come around. I want to be friends with you when she comes around so we can have a talk. And then if we need to fight, we need to fight, but not, not before that. But I don't know what the game is trying to let me do over here. Uh, well, it's quite clearly letting me kill him. But yeah, who is this queen you speak of? She is the Tika... Tikalatian ma matriarch. She is power beyond understanding, cunning beyond belief. You will fall to her as all have fallen before. That is all I will tell you. Uh. So, who are you? My name is Sinsilu Surayan, or something. Though I doubt your fleshy tongue could possibly pronounce such a noble. You don't, you dear. Sin. It's easy. Sinsi. Sinsilu. Sinsilu Sarian. Sinsilu Sarian. Sorry, it's interesting because it's uh, it's got a lot of s's, which is which makes sense because of the way the tongues of reptiles work or reptiles, I suppose. Uh, I am a mage of the Kalantian order. Apparently, the rest of the stuff the rest of the stuff doesn't work, but it doesn't like for example, T. No, yeah, I suppose I suppose Saurians could say the T word, the T uh, sound, uh, because you know the T is basically uh, I don't know the names, but it it works off the teeth and. They have teeth, right? They do, don't they? I suppose they do. Though it will mean nothing to you now, once we have dominated your race again, you will learn how great of an honor it is to have spoken with me. Really? Okay, I suppose a greater honor would be to kill you. Um, what are you doing down here? I remember being in a dark, peaceful sleep. I thought it would never end, but my companions and I awoke when we heard a call from our queen. May her all-knowing, all-powerful wisdom guide us to our glorious destiny. Her wounds whispered in my mind, communicating visions of conquest and power. The entire world would bow before us, begging for mercy and receiving none. Was that what, really what he said? Yes, indeed. Since awakening, we have not heard more from her. But when she speaks, we will go forth and conquer. Uh, yeah, I don't trust you. I think I'd better kill you. You have given me enough time to recover. That's great. I enjoy that I have. Let the earth take you! They don't want to... Oh, I interrupted him, I think. No, I did not. He didn't really recover yeah. at all, did he? Yeah, this guy's a puny. But then again, I wonder if he's just a, a foot soldier or something. Because if he is, that is a powerful guy, of course. Um, I'm thinking the queen might be just about to be awakened. And that was just a diversion. Uh, as it were, fait divers. Um, but, because um, it was pretty tricky. To, well, I died. Ooh, look at that. Dread Queen Morag. 
The letters in this book swim before your eyes, finally shaping themselves into text that you can understand. It tells the history of a queen named Morag. While the book is lengthy, one passage of interest tells of Morag's ascension to the throne. It reads, At the dawning of her first red moon, Morag, the future queen, began her slow and bloody climb towards the seat of power, her sen mother's throne. Her ascension to the heights of the dragon throne was at last of a slow poison. Was a, oh no, uh, was as that of a slow poison, deadly, inevitable, and filled with fatal pleasures. Boy, a Morag's Yolk sister, Sadat, was the first victim of the Rising Queen's awesome cunning. On the day before her ringstone ceremony, Sadat entered her hibernation chamber to meditate. Out of the fire's glowing embers crawled the ve venomous Zelfit. When the priestess arrived to escort Sadat to the ceremonial chamber the next morning, she found the limp, dead husk of the favorite child. So it was that Morag, our blessed dread queen, made the first move in her game of maids. Many moons later, it would lead to the siege of Tikalat, where she would have d the head of her sen mother and uh, display it in glorious triumph to her adoring throng. Thus began the rule of our all-magnificent Queen Morag. Okay, that's an interesting story. I'm not really sure whose story it is. If it was made by somebody that was disenfranchised, as it were, uh, for, with the whole thing, or if it was made on behalf of, or bequest, I guess. Ooh, I think I got all that I needed, um, on, uh, you know, on the request of, of the queen herself. Complete history of the creator ruins. The letters of this yada yada yada. Um, the book speaks of um, many things and appears to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that a creator race lived in these ruins. A certain passage catches your eye. In 51 SD... I have no idea what SD means, um, or 501, I should say, a few thousand members of uh, the enslaved race revolted. The uprising took several years to quell the most successful uprising the slaves had experienced to date. Though far from posing a military threat, the slaves complicated the recapture process by hiding in caves long and sentage range, uh, along the sentage range where they lived like savages. Further complications came in for the form of draconic presence in the Sentiage as they refused to bow to our will. The dragons were defeated in the Second Great, Second Great War of Hiromire, however, and our hunters... Uh, however, and our hunters were finally able to recover the missing slaves. As, it co as, is, as is customary, the elderly were eliminated, the young males crippled and sent to work in the iron mines. Why did you cripple them if they were gonna work? Uh, and the virile, virile, virile females? That makes no sense. Because virile means the masculine. That's what it means. It should. It, it doesn't mean fertile. It doesn't. It means for males. Well, not necessarily, actually. It means that just you have. It's the whole hard and soft thing that I was talking about before. Uh, we return to the pens for the purpose of breeding. So, sure. Fine. Put it over there. We're gonna need that. As for this thing. Uh, we can't identify it. Is it good, though? Is it perhaps better than we have right now? Maybe. It's probably a plus one, I would say. I think we had one of these before, maybe. Anyway, let's go over there, and then we go through the portal and get ourselves killed. Most likely. Or, it takes us back to the top of the... Of the ruins, which would be... Okay, it doesn't really matter for you guys, but for me, maybe. We'll see. Uh, let's see. The book seems to be a basic guide to the priestly initiates who took care of the ancient tomb in which it was found. One passage catches your eye. In the early years of the reign of the Thunder Queen Lagora... Lagorthra actually. Uh, a call went out for the greatest architects and builders of the age. Carrick hatched Alf Menron, mm -hmm, hatched, uh, came to the king and agreed to build a tomb that would house the rulers of our people for all time. Carrick took ten years to complete the project, but when it was fi finished, the citizens of the kingdom gaped in amazement um, at the wonder that had been wrought. Lagosra was pleased and bestowed upon Carrick the honor of being first sacrifice at the tomb's blessing. Okay, he was a lucky guy then. It's good for him. Good, 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 very good for him. I'm very happy for him. Okay, so let's go down through here and... Uh, ooh, it will return me to the surface. My guy is very interested in going there. Yeah, please return me to the surface. Uh, so what I want to do here is I want to see if uh, I... What? Oh yeah, I want to see if there's any deeper levels to this place. So I will see you in a little bit. And I had to save as well. This was actually I found the entrance Perish, where I should. to where I uh, found 
basically in the level above there's there's two passages down below and then we have the shallow caves over here and that's where we came from uh but i didn't come here for some reason and that's the only yeah. split isn't there deeper into the caves yeah. and over there that's the surface yeah that's the only split so we just found it great this is great okay so what do we have here we got we just had a troll and he's okay dead but that's that's the only okay troll that it can be and hopefully we'll have i don't understand why i didn't come here before though let's open these things we're not in combat so i'm gonna need to open that one as well yeah it's just it was far away and for some reason i missed it Ooh, potion of foxes why is it different why does it seriously why does it look different not here does it even it does not it's just it's what it is uh what do we have over here uh bolts okay excuse the camera rotation that was my bad and now this one hopefully doesn't kill me it does Goddess not take you now actually stop guard me guard me stop stop guard me i'm not already not gonna be able to open this let's say oh i did i rolled a 19. uh i guess it would be fine the likelihood of succeeding there the difficulty rating was 26. oh i just saved character <laughs> <laughs> this Mertenta? Where's this Mertenta? Okay, let's kill you. And uh, where are you guys? Do you respawn? They might. Or I probably didn't come here. There's Mertenta, man. This is, I keep telling you, there's Mertenta under the soles of my feet. Kill him. Kill him. No, it's just young ones. These guys, though, they're they're powerful. They're much more powerful than the, the, the ogres. There was an ogre over there, wasn't there? Yeah. Down they go. Let's keep going. Because I'm pretty sure I wasn't here. I am pretty sure I wasn't here. There might be a blockage or something, and that might be the reason why I didn't come here. Because I remember seeing that. I was like, eh, why can't I go? Well. Are we good here? Yeah. Yeah, these guys are very, very weak. And uh, let's see if I got this. No, I did not. Let's wait for the combat to go away. Might as well rest after it does. Right there. And let's see what we have only in here. Oh, need to open it, of course. That's a difficulty rating of 26. Pretty good. And there's the dead guy over there. They're probably going to say something about the, the creators or whatever. Get that. A little bit of gold. That's okay. 25 gold all around. And this guy has more, more gold over there. Seven. Okay. Uh... So I think we can basically assume that I've gotten everything apart from apart from this guy. And that's that, because th I came from there. So yeah, that's going to be that for this caves. I really hope you've enjoyed it. This has been uh, Neverwinter Nights, and I'm Colonel RPG. Uh, if you did enjoy it, if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, be sure to leave a like down below to let me know. Leave a comment as well while you're at it. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. And next episode, I'll be up there at the exit of this mine.